It has been two years since NASA's James Webb Telescope gave us a stunning first look at the depths of our universe. Most surprising is Mercury. Turns out we have been underestimating Mercury for ages. Yep, that tiny hot rock has been hiding some wild secrets. In fact, space robots are now claiming they found water on the hottest planet. Yeah, this has sent NASA into a frenzy about the possibility of life there, and that's just scratching the surface. Like, this planet's insides are all kinds of weird way too big and bizarre compared to other planets. So what's Mercury hiding under that surface and why is it so different? The latest information from NASA's James Webb Telescope has all the answers. Let's find it out. For centuries, Mercury was a mystery wrapped in heat and craters. It wasn't until NASA's Mariner 10 zoomed by in 1973 that we finally got a peek at it. Mariner 10, the first spacecraft to actually visit Mercury, showed us a planet that looked like it had been in a centuries-long battle, like its surface was covered with craters and strange ridges. Oh, and we also found that it has a stronger magnetic field than anyone expected and a core that's way bigger than it should be. These little facts turned everything we thought we knew about Mercury upside down. Fast forward 31 years and NASA was back with Messenger. After all, one mission wasn't enough to figure out its secrets. Unlike Mariner, Messenger decided to hang around Mercury for a bit, giving us 200,000 snapshots of stuff we'd never seen before. And let's just say, Mercury didn't disappoint. The big reveal? Weirdly high levels of calcium and magnesium on the planet's dark side, raising all kinds of questions about what's going on over there. Turns out, Mercury isn't just a hot rock. Its magnetic field is flexing some serious strength up north, something scientists didn't see coming. Usually, planets like Earth generate magnetic fields with the swirling motion of liquid iron in their core, but Mercury? It's built differently. Now let's talk about Mercury's extreme appearance, its surface. Sure, it's full of craters and ridges, but what really steals the show are the insane temperatures. By day, Mercury is a literal frying pan with temps soaring to 430 degrees Celsius. Yet by night, it cools down to a bone-chilling minus 180 degrees Celsius. Why the wild mood swings? Blame Mercury's thin exosphere, which is basically like having no atmosphere at all. It doesn't do much to lock in the heat, but just when you think Mercury couldn't surprise us more, Messenger found signs of volcanic activity on Mercury back in 2012. Yep, explosive volcanism. Not something we expected from a planet we thought was as geologically dead. And then came the jaw dropper in 2020. Water ice was spotted in some of Mercury's polar craters. Wait, water on the planet that's practically hugging the sun? You bet! These permanently shadowed craters are cold enough to stash ice, raising all kinds of questions. Like, could there be life in these icy hideouts? Extremophiles, organisms that survive in Earth's most brutal environments might just be chilling out there. And if that's not exciting enough, the latest mission to Mercury Bepi Colombo is on its way. This joint venture by the European Space Agency and Japan will arrive in 2025, and who knows what other wild secrets Mercury is hiding. The upcoming Bepi Colombo mission is set to take our Mercury knowledge to a whole new level, diving deep into its surface chemistry and geological backstory. But here's the interesting thing that'll really blow your mind. How does a planet so close to the sun end up with a year that's shorter than its day? Yep, you heard that right. A year shorter than a day. So here's the plot twist. Normally we think of planets spinning once a day and taking a leisurely trip around the sun over the course of a year. Well, Mercury laughs at those rules. Its year is shorter than a single day. Let's break it down. Mercury zips around the sun in just 88 Earth days. But here's where things get really weird. One full day on Mercury, a complete spin on its axis, takes a whopping 176 Earth days. So on Mercury, by the time the planet finishes a single rotation, it's already halfway through its second lap around the Sun. Now, if you were hanging out on Mercury's surface, you'd witness a bizarre solar show. First, the Sun would rise and gradually swell in the sky. Then, as if Mercury wanted to mess with your mind, the Sun would stop dead in its tracks, go backward for a bit, and finally return to its original path. Seriously, this planet could give time travelers a headache. So why is Mercury moving in slow-mo while zipping around the sun? It all comes down to a concept called tidal locking. The sun's powerful gravitational grip has been dragging on Mercury's spin for billions of years. Well, unlike our moon, which is fully locked to Earth and always shows the same face, Mercury is in what scientists call a 3-2 spin orbit resonance. Translation? 
it spins three times for every two trips around the sun. Yeah, it's got its own weird rhythm going on. This slow motion spin leads to some pretty wild conditions on Mercury's surface. The side facing the sun cooks under intense heat for months, while the night side freezes in darkness for just as long. We're talking about some of the most extreme temperature swings in the solar system, like going from pizza oven hot to deep freeze cold. Now onto Mercury's atmosphere, or well, the lack of one. Mercury's got an exosphere. It's super thin, constantly escaping into space, but somehow always getting replenished. How? By a mix of things like solar wind, radioactive decay, and micrometeorite impacts. In fact, some cool discoveries have come out of studying this flimsy exosphere. In 2020, scientists realized there's way more water vapor in there than they expected. Turns out, the solar wind, which is basically a stream of charged particles from the sun, smashes into Mercury's rocks, causing hydrogen to bond with oxygen and voila, water vapor. One of the weirdest side effects of Mercury's short year and long day is what it does to its magnetic field. Now, you wouldn't expect a planet this small with such a slow spin to have a global magnetic field, but Mercury does, and it's a head-scratcher. Recent research suggests that this magnetic field comes from a one-of-a-kind dynamo effect happening in Mercury's liquid metal core. The combination of its odd orbit and rotation plays a key role in this, and while Mercury's magnetic field isn't nearly as strong as Earth's, it does help shield the planet from the sun's punishing solar wind. Without it, Mercury's exosphere would be stripped away even faster. And here's something fun. Thanks to Mercury's wild rotation and orbit combo, the way we observe it is full of strange possibilities. So buckle up because Mercury's got more tricks up its sleeve. Mercury has some serious mood swings, and if you thought the planet's day length was weird, wait till you hear about its hot poles. These are specific spots on Mercury's surface where at certain times the sun just stands still. No setting, no rising. Just a big hot ball hanging in the sky, heating things up to the extreme. These hot poles get scorched with the planet's most intense heat. Meanwhile, at the other end of the spectrum, there are areas near Mercury's poles that never see sunlight, ever. These perpetually shadowed craters are home to a mind-blowing discovery. Water ice. Yes, you heard that right. Ice on a planet that's closer to the sun than any other. How does that even work? Well, thanks to Mercury's strange orbit and slow rotation, these craters near the poles never receive direct sunlight. They stay frigid cold even while their neighbors are roasting. This icy find has scientists buzzing, wondering if other volatile substances, maybe even organic compounds, are hiding in these cold, shadowy traps. Now, Mercury's crazy fast orbit and snail-paced rotation also makes studying it a cosmic headache. Spacecraft trying to reach Mercury have to play a kind of interplanetary pinball using Venus and Mercury itself for gravity assists, basically slingshotting around planets to slow down enough to catch Mercury's orbit. Case in point, the Bepi Colombo mission. Launched in 2018, this spacecraft is taking the scenic route with nine planetary flybys before it'll finally settle into Mercury's orbit in 2025. Talk about a long haul trip. Once Bepi Colombo arrives, the real challenge kicks in. Thanks to Mercury's extreme day-night cycle, the spacecraft has to pull off a delicate dance. It'll need to dodge the brutal heat on the day side while keeping enough power during those long, freezing nights. Managing that balance is crucial for the mission's success and a prime example of how Mercury's eccentric orbit keeps even the pros on their toes. So what's the deal with Mercury's bizarre rotation? Well, according to recent computer simulations, this little planet used to spin much faster than it does today. But over time, the combined effects of the sun's gravity and some massive asteroid or comet impacts put the brakes on Mercury, slowing it down to the leisurely spin we see now. This new insight not only sheds light on Mercury's history, but also gives us clues about how other planets in the solar system might have evolved. But the more we learn, the more questions we uncover, like how does Mercury's core stay partially liquid even during those bone-chilling long nights? And how does its weird orbit impact its geological features? These mysteries remind us that even though Mercury's the smallest planet, it's still a heavyweight contender in the world of cosmic enigmas. A small planet with too many intense secrets. Let's face it, Mercury may be tiny, but it's packing a whole lot of secrets. One of the biggest head scratchers, its giant core. According to Dr. Nancy Chabot from the Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Lab, Mercury's core takes up a whopping 85% of its volume. For comparison, Earth's core only makes up about 15% of our planet's volume. So how did Mercury end up with such a huge core? One theory, known as the hit-and-run scenario, might have the answer. Dr. Eric Asfog from the University of Arizona suggests that Mercury might have once been a much larger planet, 
but then a massive collision early in the solar system's history stripped away most of its outer layers, leaving behind a planet with a disproportionately large core. Now let's talk about another one of Mercury's shockers, its magnetic field. Unlike Venus and Mars, which don't bother with global magnetic fields, Mercury decided to flex a bit of magnetism, though it's only 1% as strong as Earth's. But hey, that's still impressive for a planet that's barely rotating. NASA's MESSENGER mission stumbled on this discovery and scientists, including Dr. Katherine Johnson, were left scratching their heads. Then things got weirder. Mercury's magnetic field isn't even centered. It's offset by about 20% of the planet's radius, almost like Mercury couldn't make up its mind where to place it. This feature might be due to its crust's varying thickness, messing with heat flow from its core. But wait, there's more. In 2020, scientists were stunned to find volatile elements like sulfur, potassium, and sodium hanging out on Mercury's surface. Normally, these elements would evaporate faster than ice cream on a summer day in Arizona, so finding them on the hottest planet? Mind-blowing! Dr. Patrick Poplowski thinks comets or asteroids might have delivered these elements after Mercury's formation. And just when you think Mercury couldn't surprise us anymore, scientists have found organic compounds hiding out in those same permanently shadowed craters. These dark deposits could be carbon-based molecules, potentially similar to the building blocks of life that may have played a role in Earth's own origin. So could Mercury, despite its scorching days and freezing nights, hold clues about how life began in our solar system? It's an intriguing possibility that keeps scientists wondering. Speaking of surprises, Mercury's geology isn't as dead as we once thought. Thanks to data from the MESSENGER mission, scientists like Dr. David Rothery from the Open University have identified signs of relatively recent volcanic activity. Bright spots on Mercury's surface, which seem to be volcanic vents, suggest that the planet might still be geologically active today. These features, called hollows, offer new evidence that Mercury has more going on beneath the surface than previously imagined. Recent research has also unveiled more about what's inside Mercury. Dr. Amir Khan from the University of Zurich used data from MESSENGER to analyze the planet's internal structure revealing that Mercury likely has a liquid outer core and a solid inner core, much like Earth. However, Mercury's inner core is proportionally much larger than Earth's, which might help explain its strange magnetic properties. All these intense secrets about Mercury continue to challenge our understanding of how planets form and evolve. Despite being our closest planetary neighbor to the Sun, Mercury still holds countless mysteries, reminding us that even in our solar system's backyard, there's so much left to explore. As we gear up for future space missions, one question keeps popping up. What other cosmic secrets could be lurking beneath Mercury's rugged, crater-filled surface? Mercury's Mysterious Core Turns out Mercury isn't just sitting pretty on the surface, there's a whole lot going on down below. NASA's MESSENGER mission spilled the tea, revealing that Mercury's core is kind of unique. Unlike Earth, where the core is part solid and part liquid, Mercury's core is mostly liquid with just a solid bit inside. And get this, its inner core is huge. It's a whopping 1,260 miles or 2,000 kilometers wide, which is basically half of the planet's entire core. Compare that to Earth's inner core, which is just 15% of its whole core, and you can see why Mercury is feeling a bit extra in the core department. This oversized core is the reason why Mercury has a magnetic field. Sure, it's much weaker than Earth's, but for a planet this tiny, it's putting in a solid effort. Underneath Mercury's surface lies a mantle that's surprisingly thin. Scientists recently found out that Mercury's mantle is only about 260 miles thick, which makes Earth's hefty 1,800 miles mantle seem like it's hitting the gym a little too hard. This skinny mantle is pretty significant, though. It affects how heat moves around Mercury and might tell us more about the planet's inner workings. One of the coolest finds beneath Mercury's surface came in 2012 when NASA's MESSENGER spacecraft spotted something volcanic. Yes, volcanic. Picture this, Mercury had ancient volcanic activity and we're still seeing its traces. MESSENGER found these odd, shallow depressions, nicknamed hollows, that seem to have formed when volatile elements evaporated from the surface. Translation. Mercury had way more of these elements underground than scientists had ever imagined. Fast forward to 2020 and researchers made another jaw-dropping discovery using MESSENGER's data. They found evidence that Mercury had a massive underground magma ocean back in its ancient past. Yup, a whole ocean of lava bubbling beneath the surface. This molten sea probably shaped Mercury's surface and inner structure, giving it that unique planetary vibe. 
One of the coolest effects of this ancient magma ocean? Those super smooth, wide open plains in Mercury's northern hemisphere. These northern volcanic plains were likely created by massive lava flows that happened way back when Mercury was a hot mess, literally. But the real bombshell came in 2022 when researchers digging through messenger data stumbled upon nitrogen. Yes, nitrogen trapped beneath Mercury's surface. This nitrogen might be the last trace of an ancient atmosphere, likely shoved underground by Mercury's extreme heat and relentless solar radiation. So does this mean Mercury once had a thicker atmosphere? If so, what kind of weather did it have? And could it have been habitable at one point? The mind boggles. Now, let's talk about tectonics. Mercury may not have plate tectonics like Earth, but it's still been through some dramatic shifts. As the planet cooled over time, it shrank, creating massive thrust faults where one chunk of crust bulldozed over another. These towering faults offer us a peek into what's going on beneath the surface. And here's the kicker. Mercury might still be tectonically active. A 2019 study found tiny valleys called grabens next to some of Mercury's largest faults. These valleys look fresh, geologically speaking, which means Mercury's crust is still on the move, slowly shifting and settling like it's never quite comfortable. Now here's where things get even weirder. Mercury might have subsurface cracks and fractures that act like little highways for heat and possibly even fluids. Yep, while Mercury's surface is dry as a desert, some scientists believe that deep down there could be pockets of liquid water heated by the planet's core. Sound far-fetched? Maybe, but hey, we've seen subsurface oceans on icy moons like Europa and Enceladus, so who's to say Mercury isn't hiding something too? After all, the universe loves throwing us curveballs. With every new mission, more questions pop up. How has Mercury's insides changed over time? What other elements or compounds could be lurking underground? And most intriguing, what can Mercury's hidden depths tell us about the early days of the solar system? The more we learn, the clearer it becomes. Mercury, despite being so close to the sun and small in size, is holding on to some epic secrets. And who knows what we might find next? Precious stones? Alien microbes? Okay, maybe not the last one, but let's dream big. Mercury's journey of discovery is far from over, so what do you think we'll find hiding under its surface next? Could it be diamonds or maybe something even stranger? If you enjoyed this cosmic adventure, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more space mysteries. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.